An underground fight club uncovered in Christchurch and condemned by boxing officials has received backing from a Canterbury University sociology professor. Dr Greg Newbold says it's reminiscent of the early days of boxing before rules were established and fighting is part of the male psyche. But Boxing New Zealand is appalled the lack of attention to safety. Greg Newbold joins me now from our Christchurch studio and our Hamilton studio Boxing New Zealand board member Keith Walker. Gentlemen, thanks for both joining us. Look, Dr Newbold, you look at those pictures of that um, of, of these fights that are being organised here in Christchurch. How can that be good for, for any young people? Oh, I wouldn't say it's good. It's just young kids letting off steam. I mean, kids, there's boxing gloves all over the country with kids get and bash each other. All over Samoa, I've lived in Samoa, and Samoa they bring the gloves out quite often at night and pe kids put on gloves and start bashing each other. They don't have a, I mean, they don't have a lot of technique. There's not a lot of power in the punches either because they get tired real quick and they, they're not trained fighters. So, I mean, there's a chance of injury, but there's a chance of injury in, in a lot of sports, you know, rugby, mountain climbing, cycling, they'll carry dangers to them. It's better, you know, it'd be better to have, uh, have, a, have a controlled situation. I don't see anything particularly sinister in this. Is it good for young males to get that aggression out? Oh, I think. Kids, kids like fighting and bashing up. I mean, it's a pretty normal thing for kids to fight. Um, I don't see anything unusual about this or anything abnormal about it. It's, it's just got, um, it, someone's put it on the, you know, they've got cameras now. This is the kind of thing which, which happens, well, I mean, when I was a kid, it used to happen all the time. We quite often put on boxing gloves and clobber each other. And it's just that they put it on YouTube and, and I suppose a few kids will do it. But what I think good might come out of it is the kids who are doing it, they're either going to give up because they get hurt or they'll go on and get some proper training and uh, to join, a, join a club and I think that would be a good thing. Keith Walker, you're on the board of Boxing New Zealand. Now, Boxing New Zealand is very protective of, of, of the integrity of the sport. I mean, you know, you come in for a bit of stick along the way. This can't help, can it? Oh, it certainly doesn't help, Mark. It, this is appalling, really. I'm quite surprised at the, the comments that have been made. Um, our sport's a very safe sport and we want to keep it that way. Uh, the international body have worked very hard to, uh, to make our sport very safe and, and to see this sort of thing carrying on um, is quite appalling. In actual fact, um, the, the one, one, of the, one of the points is I watched some of the clips from it, um, I noticed that most, some of the guys are standing around drinking, so obviously it's a, it's a drink culture. And, uh, and it's progressing from there. They really don't understand the dangers that, that, could, be, that could happen from, uh, from one, one blow that um, causes concussion and, um, and, and could be in serious strife. But as Greg Newbold says, I mean, there's probably, you know, people organise backyard sort of scraps and things all the time. Is it the organised nature of it that concerns Boxing New Zealand? Oh, I think I think the connotation of boxing um, comes and plays in people's minds, and I think that um, we we as a sport are a very controlled sport and a very safe sport. And uh, in any connotation that that somebody's going to get hurt at some of these events will reflect back onto the onto the sport as boxing, and um, we certainly don't want that to happen. And in actual fact, we have a very good, safe, very safe record. Um, as far as ACC is concerned, we're very, very low in injuries and it's only because of the safety aspects that we put into place and, um, and we like to have it in a controlled environment. Greg Newbold, I mean, you did a bit of boxing yourself when uh, you, were, you, you were growing up, but that was, what, in a more controlled environment? Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've had a few amateur fights myself and, and it is controlled and that's what I think uh, it would be would preferable if these kids would join clubs and get some get some proper training. As it is, they're just letting off steam. But I don't I don't think it's something that they would continue to do because I know what it's like. You get hurt and you don't want to do it anymore. If they if they go and move into a controlled environment where they they, they are fighting with headgear and and with big uh, uh, training gloves, 16 ounce gloves, uh, I think uh, that, that, that's well. The problem with boxing is there's not there's not really a lot of people do it and. Uh, if this generated interest in boxing, I think that the, the Tua Cameron fight might have been partly behind it. Um, I think it would be a good thing for boxing in the long run. Greg, is part of the attraction the fact that it isn't a sanctioned fight, that it is a sort of, you know, slightly sort of undercover? Uh, I th no, I think it's because I think kids are just testing themselves in a, in a, in a private environment. I mean, there's unsanctioned fights up in Auckland. I know some of the some of the gangs have unsanctioned fights. There's, um, 
the, the, it happens everywhere. But I, um, I, I think the, the, the fact that it's, uh, that it's uncontrolled and there's no doctors, there are always, there are certainly dangers inherent in that. Keith Walker, but, um, sorry, Greg, Keith Walker, I mean, obviously, you know, Boxing New Zealand has concerns about this. Where can you take it? Because the police are saying if no one complains, we can't chase it up. Well, certainly the police need to be looking at it because, um, you know, all of our um, events are held uh, under a police permit. So obviously the, we, we'd, be, we'd be expecting the police to, pl to monitor some of these, these events. You know, we get, we're slowly getting, getting worse and worse. We're into gladiator days before we know it. Um, we have cage, cage fighting now. It goes on from, from corporate boxing and, and cage boxing which is all seems to be out of control and it's high time it's I think that the police the, the, the police started to look at these things and see the see the safety aspect of it and, or see the dangers that, that it can create and also um, and and to start putting things into a safe and okay, oh, sorry, we, I, I, I've got a, I've got a comment about his it, his comment about boxing's not <laughs> not very a popular sport. Well, uh, listen, we, we, uh, <laughs> we can argue the toss over the popular. Look, I'm sorry, both of you, we have run out of time, but Keith Walker, obviously concerned for you. Greg Newbold, thanks for your thoughts for us tonight.